LT Outdoors. The channel with everything the outdoor world Otherwise, has to offer. Give them, if, I, if I waited a week, these would all go to seed. That. Yeah, buddy. That's a monster. Ah, uh, yeah. Sun is coming up. Bob is going down. Monster, Fish are all abiding and jumping all around. Let's go, folks. Come on, let's go. It's time for LT Outdoors. Yeah, I'm talking. LT oh, Outdoors. Might go hunt so fish. Metal detecting. Might that even do a little fortune, too. Got, no, I'm talking. LT Outdoors. I hope you enjoy. Tell me that ain't the best. Special shout out to all my patrons out there. If you want to become a patron, you can go to patreon.com and look up LT Outdoors. Uh, also, thank you to anybody who donates to this channel. Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of LT Outdoors. This episode is totally different, alright? It's going to be kind of a short one too, so I apologize for that for any of you that were looking for a long one. Probably not anyways, it's a holiday weekend, get out and have some fun. Um, but I want to show you guys real quick. See, right now, it's almost 4th of July. Um, it's the end of July. Tomorrow, I think, is the last day. Uh, this is the best time of year to get out and find asparagus, okay? Not to find it to eat. It's too far gone. But it is the best time to get out and actually find it. This is when you want to get out. The asparagus is going to look super bushy, which makes it stick out like a sore thumb and that's no joke um, you get out you find it now when I first started doing this I would find a batch I would mark it with some flagging tape you know put it on a nearby bush or a tree or something that that was as close as possible to that asparagus patch that way next year in the spring when it starts growing always around you know end of April early May at least up here um, I would start driving around slowly, checking my marked spots, and after two or three years, I didn't need my flag tape anymore. I'd, I'd learned them enough where I could drive around and I knew right where to go every time. But today, I'm just going to kind of show you some patches, what they look like when they've gone to seed. Like I said, it's super easy to find them, and you will be amazed once you get the knack for finding it. Get out there and look. And I'm telling you, if you're in the state of Michigan, you're going to find it everywhere. You're really going to be shocked. It is everywhere. I have traveled all over the state, and I, I literally see it off of every road. So, yeah, get out, look for it right now. And when you find some, it's just one of those things, kind of like a morel mushroom when you see your first one. They're going to start to pop. You're going to start seeing them everywhere because it's just one of them things you really don't see it until you see it so yeah keep your eyes peeled i'm going to show you guys what to look for um, it's easy once you find it you can literally drive down the road you could be going pretty fast too and you'll be like oh asparagus and have to stop so yeah i hope you guys enjoy this so like i said short video fourth of july weekend um hope you enjoy it hope you get something from it and next spring make sure you're ready for these patches of asparagus so you can get some fresh meals Right here, this is a good example of what asparagus looks like when it goes to seed. As you can see, it is extremely bushy, and no matter what, no matter how tall the grass is in the ditch, it's always going to be taller. The asparagus doesn't seem to go totally to seed until it outgrows the grass. So it's going to it's going to completely overgrow the grass and just become this big bushy thing here. Um, when you find these, like I said, it's good to you know, for instance, if I was to mark this one, I'd probably just put a little piece of flag tape back there. And then next April, boom, I'd be riding through here every day, just keeping an eye. I'd stop every now and then and just check. And it doesn't take long. I mean, and you can pick this almost all season. Me and my mother one year, we literally picked asparagus up till almost November. Because uh, if you keep up on picking it and not let it go to seed, you can actually continuously pick it. Um, it's not totally good for the plant, but it's not bad if you do it, you know, every now and then either. So, yeah, just, uh, there's one right there. I'll show you another. I'll try and find a real big bushy one so you can see how big they actually get. Now, one thing I should probably mention, guys, is when you are out looking for the asparagus, 
keep your eyes peeled in the ditches, okay? The, the asparagus is mostly going to be growing on the edge of the ditch or straight out of the ditch, somewhere along the ditches. They just, the asparagus loves to grow right along the ditches. So that is your best places. Also, focus on old country roads if you can, old dirt roads, things like that out in the middle of nowhere. That's your best chances to find a bunch of uh, a bunch of asparagus but I'm just driving along here looking for a big patch to show you guys because they bush right out and I know I'm, I'm pretty sure I got one coming up here that I can show you so yeah hold on one second here and I will show you exactly what they look like when they bush out <laughs> here's a monster I don't know if you can see that contrasted against the the bank but man that thing's a beast <laughs> All those little yellow flowers too. I'll get out and show you. That right there, guys, is hard to miss. And I'm telling you, this is you're gonna see this all over. Once you see the first one, it is truly hard to miss. That giant bush right there is made up of a bunch of stalks. Because one thing you gotta know too, with asparagus, there are always a pile of stalks that come out of the ground that make up the asparagus itself. Uh, it's just one big root system. I've seen asparagus stalks 20, 20 or more come out of one root system. It all depends on the age of the root system. So, yeah, systems like that, that could be like a 40, 40, 50 year old root system. It's big asparagus, but keep your eyes peeled, guys. Look for that big stuff. Looks like a bush with yellow flowers in the ditches. You can't miss it. Best time of year to go look for it, get you some flagging tape, mark it, and go pick it next spring. You can go to get your hands on last year's epic panty pounders or this year's new pig pounders. Well, it just got a little easier, guys. I now have a website. You can go to www.ltoutdoorslureco.com. Check the website out, and if you don't feel like getting them online, you can also go to these fine stores. Want to know where you can find LT Outdoor Lures? Check out these stores and pick up some today. This season of LT Outdoors is brought to you by Freedom Baits, quality plastics that you can count on. They have a whole selection of open water plastics too. Widowmaker Lures, check them out online. They have a great selection of tungsten jigs and much, much more. Cowboy Coffee Chew, a cup and a pinch. Mountable Memories Taxidermy, mounts that'll last a lifetime. Do you want to pay for the entire stay now? Uh, I pay you for one night. Fine. How All much? Right. One night is one hundred seventeen dollars and seven and thirteen cents. We'll call it eighty-five. No, we can call it one hundred and seventeen.